What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode here at the Center for Stingray Biology. This is going to be a feeding video today. I haven't done one of these in a long time and for good reason. I didn't have any stingrays, right? But now we got some back and it's back to work as usual. In the previous episode, we talked about separating them and conditioning them. So now that's what we're going to do now. I got to start feeding them and getting them back into prime breeding health. So let's see what their response to the feeding is. Look at that. I've always told you guys, the feeding response is the number one most important thing to judging the health of the stingray. So we saw that, right? We, jumped the, we dropped the food in, and once it landed right on them, they started getting really active and pouncing on each other. Look oh, at this. Yeah. See? Oh. So now we're just going to try to get little food everywhere. We're going to spread it around so that not one single stingray will cover it all up. Everyone gets a chance to eat here. Look at her. Amazing. And and didn't uh, Kasha name this girl right here? What's oh, her name again? Clem Clementine, I yep, think it is? Clementine, yeah. All right, so now we have Clementine. Oh, yeah. All right, and uh, we're going to have to get names. I think she has names for some of the other uh, uh, girls as they're well, They're right? coming, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Names yeah. is her thing, so. All right, good. See, so <laughs> now this is good. I'm happy the rays came back very healthy. Um, are they looking a little bit malnutrition, a little bit skinny? Yes. And it's to be expected, you know, because the people that were helping me keep these fish were helping me to keep them alive, not to keep them in prime breeding condition. See, because taking on so many rays, it's a very big responsibility and it's a lot of work involved. I don't expect them to keep them in such good health. As long as they're strong and healthy like this, I'm happy, right? I'm not dealing with any sick fish right here now. Every, now it's just getting them back to health and giving them more food. You see this, look at this. Yeah, they're just hungry. <laughs> Right? Can they take more food? Yes, mm. but I think I'm going to stop right here and then we're just going to move on to the other side. Look at the males on the other side. They smell it. They try to come <laughs> through the divider. And that's the way fish should be. Healthy. That's the way I like to see my fish. Anything less than that, you know, that, that's uh, it's a problem. But I'm happy. I'm happy with the way they're responding to all mm, the food. Look mm. at this. This it's guy, they he, eat so gentle. he doesn't even know the food's on his side. He's still trying to go through. And watch, once he realizes it's right there, he's going to pounce. I'm going to drop one right on his head. <laughs> Come on, mustache. But the current might be taking it a little bit. Mm. Come on, right on your back. You're going to feel it. No? <laughs> uh, sometimes I can't help you if you're going <laughs> to only look at the ladies. <laughs> I have to oh, open yeah. the cover a little bit and get it right on top of his face. This should, he should get oh, this yeah. one. Come on, buddy. Oh yeah. There we go. See? It's crazy how they almost create like a dome when they eat. Yeah, um, it's weird. It's like food raining on top of them and they feel it and they're and then they try to figure out where it is and they back up yeah. and then they go over They'll it. They'll dome and, over it. It's very cool. Exactly, exactly. So, okay, so like I was saying, I'm not gonna feed too much here because we try to keep the water quality. That one piece floating there. So as you see, I gave the females a lot more than what I gave the males. But you know what? I'm gonna give a little bit more because I'm feeling happy. Uh, you gave in. Yeah. You got it. Right. So now let's go to the back. Um, a lot of you guys have been asking. Watch your step there. Yep. Have been asking. You know. So what's the deal with the rays that we got back from Ohio Fish Rescue? Well, let me go show you right now. Okay. We're almost there. It's just a long walk. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. So, here we are. And I know the big question is, how many rays made it back? Um, have we shown them on, on the other channel yet? I Not yet, right? So, no. Yeah, so you guys will get to see that at Predatory Fins when they put the video of the return of the stingrays. Now, as you guys already know, I didn't go, okay, because I had to be here to take care of the fish and to get these tanks ready. We didn't have enough time. Rod was generous enough to volunteer to go do the drive, and Matt went with him. Hey, it saves me work, so I'm, you know, very grateful for that and more than happy to stay here, right? Because yeah. I heard that was one hell of a trip. Yeah, it was a long one, but yeah. we were excited to come back with everyone in good health. Exactly. So you guys can see that there, and this would be kind of a jump ahead because I'm going to feed them and you guys already can see what rays are here. So let me turn down the pump so that you guys can see it better. So I unplugged the filter all together so there's no ripples. 
and you guys can hear me better and you guys can see the rays better here. So in this tank, I have some of my older, bigger females and there's one male in here. We got that one right there, which is our Faulkner eye. And we got one, two, three, three black diamonds. And this one here, I honestly believe it's a black diamond. I've, I've been away from my rays for so long now that, like I said, I, I need a little time to try to figure out who's who. Because back then I had too many rays and it was tough to keep track of. So again, these guys are very healthy. So we're gonna throw some food in there and let's see what their response is. Look, there you go. Jumped right on it. Okay, um, they're, they're much more active now. You know, um, it took about a week for them to settle in after the trip. And you know, I didn't show you guys right away because the key was to getting them back to health and uh, getting them uh, in good water and good health. So that was really my focus. During this time, what we're gonna do is quarantine them, treat them for any possible diseases that they may have picked up you know, from the trip or being at other facilities. And basically, I'm gonna go through a whole brand new quarantine process to getting them back to health. Right, um, and it all depends on you know who who was holding the fish, what other fish they were keeping it with, right? So in the case of Ohio Fish Rescue, we know that he was keeping it with a lot of his other animals, right? So I'm gonna just pay a little bit more attention towards um, you know isolating them, whereas some other people that helped me had dedicated tanks that were only for stingrays, so I don't have to worry about any outside contaminants, right? So that's why those are over there. And once these go through that whole quarantine process, I can start mixing and matching again and rebuilding my breeding program, right? But you see, these guys, they're gonna need a lot more food. They're, oh, yeah. they're, first of all, they're very big rays. And again, I'm still cycling this tank as well. So um, it's a balance. It's a balancing act of cycling the tank and getting the fish back to health. So, as you can see, these guys aren't as active as the ones up front, but that's also because this tank is a little bit more overcrowded. Because the rays, are, you can see, are almost, each ray here is double the size and mass than the ones the over there, yeah. right? So we have to really watch that ammonia spike here very carefully. But they are eating, and that's all I care about right now. Yeah. So let's come over to this side. So we got some of the smaller ones here. You can right away see big difference in size. Oh, yeah. The water is much more clear here, right? Because the bio load is lighter. Now let's start throwing some food. Everyone's just uh, kind of chilling, but I'm pretty sure once the food hits bottom, look at that, oh. they're all gonna react. They're all gonna come out. Now check it out, the datanoid right there. Boom, he hit the, the fish. <laughs> He's doing really well. Then took another one. Ooh. As you guys know, mm. I lost my big datanoid. Uh, I was pretty upset. I lost it while I was here in LA. And, I mean, while I was here in New York and Oi was back in LA taking care of it. And it's, it's sad, but we, we did say that, you know, this is a new beginning, new chapter. And that datanoid right there is gonna re represent the beginning of this chapter here in New York. I've always kept one datanoid with all my rays. That's gonna be the new datanoid. And of course, he's a very special one. Look how yellow that thing is, right? I think it actually looks even more cool now than it did before. If you guys remember, this fish was almost all solid yellow with a little bit of white on the head and he's picking up some black, but now he picked up his black stripes and I think it's absolutely amazing, Yeah. right? I, I, they look cool both ways, but you know, it's great. Okay, but anyways, look, these guys Everybody's are still waiting. running around. They're yeah. waiting for more food. So let me not ignore them. <laughs> It's so good to have them home. Um, as much as I enjoyed the break, I also missed doing this just as much. You know, it's almost like second nature to me when it comes to take care, taking care of the rays. And I did definitely feel like a part of me was missing. Yeah. And now it's complete, right? Or, or getting complete. Obviously, there's more, more of my rays out there. I think I still have about another 60 some odd rays I lost count that's still uh, out there uh, that people are helping me. And don't worry guys, I didn't forget about you. I let me get past these, cycle new tanks, and then you guys will be next. And I'm gonna be bringing more of my rays back. Everyone's gonna get to enjoy it and see how I rebuild 
all my breeding programs, right? Mm -hmm. And I guarantee you, I will have pups within the next four to five months, okay? Basically, and get them here, all I need is one or two matings, and then the game starts. That's it. Right? Um, and I know, Matt, you guys on. have never seen, you oh, know, the pups and the breeding yes. and all that. It's, we, it's a lot of fun. We were waiting for just this step for the stingrays to be back. So exactly. This is step one, and then next, it's all a crazy learning experience. Okay, and then for you guys, uh, if you don't know who Matt is, Matt is our new cameraman, right, for both channels, my channel here at Stingray Biology and for Predatory Fins. This is our new team, and, yeah. uh, and you know, I want you guys to give them a big warm welcome, all right? Thank you, yeah. All right, so we have a little bit more rays on the last tank over there. Okay, let's go over this way. Um, we actually had already shipped out a few pieces the other day. We're just gonna flip this, just flip it. Okay. Now what we got here are two, one really big Matoro and one other Matoro hybrid. Okay, as you see there's some medicine in here, but this medicine is not because of the rays. This medicine is in here um, because we had some uh, other fish here that picked up a little bit of um, white. It's not bacterial, it's not fungus. I, I don't know exactly what it is, but we threw in the medicine just to clean them up and everything's good now. But we gotta feed these guys as well. If you guys are interested to see these rays, we're actually donating it, right? To the Riverhead Aquarium. It's gonna be there fairly soon, probably within the next week or so. Yeah. I don't know if they're gonna put it on display right away. I don't know if I was supposed to let that cat out of the bag, <laughs> but too late. That's the perk you get for watching my channel instead of Rod's channel, all right? That's the secret. <laughs> Okay, see that, that? She's gonna smell the food and she's gonna jump on it. There we go, look at that. Mm. I love it when that sudden twitch, like, mm. oh, something's here, you know? They know. When they react really slow, even though they feel something, they're not at 100%. When they jump and pounce like that, that's when they're at 100%. So, we're just gonna keep these guys well fed until it's time to bring it. Um, you know, things here are going in a very positive, well, you don't want to step away from the water. I think it's too loud, right? Yeah. Let me give them a little bit more food and step away. Some so more. So things are going in a very positive direction here. It took me some time to get to this point. As you guys know, we were dealing with a lot with the town, with my family, moving, moving the race, just a lot of things. You know, I was being pulled in all different directions. I do apologize if I uh, was neglecting you guys. I know you guys have been very loyal and watching Raj's channel. Uh, you know, watching for updates on my channel to see when the next videos are. It's gonna be coming. As you can see, okay, let me ask, let, actually not ask, let me answer one question I'm, I'm sure it's gonna be flooded in the comments if I don't ask, right? People are wondering what happened to all my rays. So if this is what we see here, what we brought back from Ohio. Um, it was explained already um, that we had a lot of rays in Ohio, okay? Did we lose some? Yes, we lost some. Everybody lost some. Everybody I gave rays to, everybody lost some because it's just a very big load, a workload to handle when it comes to stingrays because they produce so much waste. But at the same time, you know, we were pretty much out of business for a little bit, right? For a good three months with no income. So as I needed money, I was also selling off rays, right? And we were selling off fish that was at Ohio to help carry us over during that transition move. So if that makes sense to you guys, uh, hopefully that answers your question as to what happened, right? And we already addressed that, you know, some of the fish were looking very sluggish and slow and uh, maybe thin, but we also said I didn't want them feeding them too heavily either, right? Because we're also trying to balance keeping them alive, keeping them healthy and so forth. But now, you know, I think everything's great here and I'm happy. With, with what we got, let me give her more. So, um, if you guys are curious, Oi and the family are gonna be here probably in the next two weeks. I'm actually leaving tomorrow back to LA to finalize everything. I finally find my, found my house here in New York, so the move is gonna be finally permanent, all right? So the next time you see me, I will be a New Yorker. Oh, all right, yeah. so see you guys next time. Take care.